So how do you turn these into these? Hey guys, I know it's been a little while since our last video, but it's great to be back. And the silver lining, we were able to finish up a bunch of great new book titles. Today we're excited to partner with Bright Products to bring you a new tutorial on rock painting, and more specifically, superhero characters. This will be mostly for beginners or anyone new to rock painting, but we'll also showcase some intermediate and advanced options. To help, we're lucky to have with us the lovely Christy and our special guest, Naylin. So let's get started. A good place to begin is to clean your rocks with warm water. Be sure to scrub off all the dirt and dust as paint doesn't stick to the surfaces all too well. Our next step is to paint the rocks a solid color that relates to whatever character you have in mind to produce. We'll be using acrylic water-based paints similar to those available in Bright Products rock painting kits. Give your rock at least two coats of paint if you want it to appear vibrant and opaque. Some colors go on thicker than others, so they may require more layers. As all rocks are shaped differently, choose rocks that complement the type of character or creature you intend to create. To get started, you'll need some additional supplies. Water to rinse your brush when switching colors, paper towels to clean up any spills, scissors, a pencil, crayon, or marker to draw your characters. Here's your rock. You can do it this way or this way, whatever shape you think is best. So this one maybe we'll do it this way. We'll stick our blue superhero rock right there. Uh, what is this one called? Feather Rock Man. Rock Man. How about Feather Man? He ends up with a feather on his head. Okay. All right, we like that. We like Feather Man. Let's start with a circle for his head. Big circle at the top, takes up about the top third of the rock there. Just connect that. Okay, and then once we have that, uh, let's see, just make a little curved line here for the forehead. And down the sides, like so. And then his Cow, come down to a point, and back up the other side like that. You can give him some eyes, like that, like that, and then a little mouth here. Good job. All right. Okay. Now let's draw a line across here for his belt, just across the middle here, like that. And then another line right below it, like that. And connect the sides like that. And draw a little angled line right here and here for his hands. And out, give him some big strong shoulders, big wide shoulders there. Out and back in. Got that? Out and back in. And then for gloves, just draw lines that connect those two there. Boom, just like that. And in the middle, you can draw any kind of symbol you want, but it helps for our sake to make it simple. So we'll just do a circle here. And you can bring a line down, go around your circle, down, down, around, and down. Got it? Okay, bring the lines down, around, down, and around for the legs. And then we'll do this kind of similar to the archer, just a line through the middle to separate the legs. superhero rocks. Good job. Okay. okay. All right, so we have our superhero 
So we're gonna do blue. Let's start with the blue. So we're gonna do is uh, yeah. Let's do light blue. His cowl, his gloves, and his underpants. Okay. We'll do this light blue. He's looking handsome. And if you wanted to make a different blue, you can always mix colors. Or, I mean, the store has lots of colors. If you want to just go buy your own paints, you can do that too. All right, so we got that. We're going to do gloves. Glove number one. Perfect. I'm going to leave some of these black lines. You don't have to, but I like some of the lines to show. Oh, that looks good. And then we'll do his underpants. No, actually, we're going to do those gray. Sorry, his boots. We're going to do his boots blue. decorate them however you want at the end. Um, all right, almost done with my boot. All right, and if you go out of the lines, don't even worry about it. You can always let it, the paint dry or and paint like right over it. Or you can put a marker on it after it's dry. All right, so we have a our blue in. All right, we're gonna rinse our brushes I out. Did. Perfect, you are ahead of me. Okay, what should we do next? Should we do um, his face? His face. All right, let's do. Is that gonna be white. Uh, we're gonna do flesh colored. We're gonna do this light color. I was if you talking about his mask. Oh, so if you don't have a flesh color, kind of skin color, um, you can always uh, use. So you can do mix, kind of mix white, yellow, and orange together to make a fleshy color. If you want a darker color, just I'm put going in. Over his mouth. I'll do that later. Okay. If you want a darker color, just put in darker colors. It's as easy as that. Wait, if you want to lighten it up, the, just add white. Is the face the only flesh color thing? Yep. Okay. His face is the only fleshy color that we want to paint. Um, and you can make him whatever color you want. I just happen to have this in front of me, so we're gonna go with it. Perfect. All right, his face is good. Okay, should we do his mask or his outfit? Um, we should do his mask. All right, let's do his mask. We're gonna black. do his mask black. Yep. And the eyes in. All right, so we'll do his mask black. Oh, he's looking like a superhero now. Looking good. How's yours looking? Oh, very good. So while we have black, we're going to do something else on him in black, too. So I'm going to do right around his symbol, black. Have you done his symbol? Okay. So switch over to black. And we'll do his superhero symbol. Well, the outside. On the outside, correct. We'll do the inside, orange. And again, you can pick whatever colors you want or whatever colors you have at home. Your colors are probably going to be a little different than mine, but that's just fine. 
Okay. So now, should we do the inside or should we do his outfit? Inside. All right, so now let's do orange. We're going to do it orange. Circle inside orange. Is there anything else? Um, do you want to do his belt orange or yellow? So some colors Maybe go on thick. Maybe half of it orange, half of it yellow. Well, we'll go simple. Should we do it orange since we have orange? Mm. All right, let's just do orange. Orange belt. All right. Ooh, that looks good. Looking really good. How's yours? Oh, cute. These superheroes are going to look awesome when we're done. All right, let me just do one more coat on here so it looks clean. Okay, now, oh, I got to catch up to you. I got to do my eyes. Hang on. I'm going to do my little spots for my eyes. You're too fast for me, Naylon. Wait for that to dry. Okay. So now we're just gonna put a little eyeball on here. All right. Now he's got a cool mask. We've got our own little superhero. All right. That looks pretty good. Should we do his uh, outfit now? Okay, we're gonna do his outfit gray. So, let's, we're gonna mix some colors, okay? We're gonna put some white. So we don't need tons, it's just one little guy. We're gonna mix white and black together. The more black you put in, the darker the gray is gonna be. So we're gonna do kind of a medium gray. All right, you want to start using that one? And then we'll start. And take this outfit. And again, right now, if you go out of lines, not a big deal, you can fix it. Either when we decorate them with accessories or you can always go back and fix it with a different color paint or markers if you want. Don't get discouraged if you go out of the lines. I go out of the lines all the time. Cute little pants. Superheroes probably don't like being called cute, but I'm turning mine into a cute one. How's yours looking? Oh, yours is looking very good, Naylon. I think we have our superheroes. Okay, let's show them our cool superheroes. Can they see you? <laughs> oh, so fun! Can't wait to see yours. All right, we're gonna go to our superhero. And for our superhero, the accessories we're gonna use we're gonna use glitter, because he needs a little bling. We each need a feather for our feather guy, because that's what we're calling him, right? Feather man. And I choose my own color. Yes, you can choose whatever color you want. I'm gonna do this light blue, and you can pick whatever color you want. Dark blue. It's 
So you're gonna do well, kind sorry. of purple. You're gonna do purple. So we got glitter, we got purple. We're gonna put on a cape. So depending on what size your rock is, you can either cut your cape if it's too big. This one looks pretty good. They do look like peacock feathers. And if you don't think that superheroes have feathers, you don't have to put a feather on, but I think it would look pretty cool. So that's kind of what we're gonna go for with our feather man. Good job. These look so good. So that one's pretty simple, but you can deck them out as much as you want or as little as you want. So we have our rock painting characters, Featherman. Didn't Christy and Naylan do a great job? Whether you're a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, you can do it your own way. Thanks for tuning in. Like and subscribe. Until next time. Take care of me.